Hello and welcome back to a new video today. I'm Loran or Lala for short and today I'm in my mom's kitchen and we are doing a really fun video together. We are going to make six different cakes with six different egg replacers and try to figure out which one is the best because there are so many people out there with so many different ideas and recipes for vegan cakes and different ways that you can replace eggs. So we decided to just try them all and see what we like best. We've got our aprons ready to go. What do you think? This is my mom. Hi. <laughs> Here are all the egg replacers that we're gonna try. Silken tofu, bananas, avocado, chia seeds, applesauce, and flaxseed meal. So six different cakes, six different egg replacers. Which one will win? I think we should guess which ones we think we're gonna like the best. And then we can see later which one actually was the best to us. Well, I would say the banana would probably taste the best. That's what I was guessing. But Or the chia seeds. Oh wait, no, maybe the, fl the flax seed. I'm gonna go with banana or flax seed. I've never made tofu before, so I'm interested to see how that's a difference. Yeah. The way that I did it before was I made three cakes, okay, and I split them in half. So to get six cakes, with each cake I used a different uh, egg replacer to see which one was the best. There, I don't want to do anything different like add in a different kind of sugar or a different kind of flour or anything. I just want to experiment with one thing at a time. And when we find our egg replacer that we like the best, then we can start experimenting with different things. So we're doing a very simple, normal cake recipe and only replacing the egg, mm -hmm. basically. So we have flour, sugar, salt, vanilla, baking powder, baking soda, our egg replacers, vegan butter, and we also have plant milk. So everything is really standard except for the egg replacer. Yes. So the first thing we're doing is dividing everything in half into two separate bowls. So that was one cup of flour into the yeast bowl. The normal recipe calls for two cups of flour, so we just put one cup in here and one cup in here. You always mix up the, the powdery stuff first, then you mix up the wet stuff. Okay, so, so that's why we have four bowls. One teaspoon of baking powder, so we're going to do a half teaspoon in each bowl. Three quarters teaspoon of baking soda. Baking soda. And don't worry if you want to try to make this, I'll post the, the actual measurements and recipes in the description so you don't have to try to follow along with everything that we're doing. Now we're mixing it together. I guess I can move this out all the dry ingredients. Putting our dry mix to the side, onto the wet stuff. So it calls for three quarters cup of butter. Okay, so that, take this away. Okay. Now we're just doing math with the butter. So half. split this in half, and then that one in half. So we've got three quarters of a stick of butter, vegan butter, in both of our pans, or pots. What are these? Mixing bowls. A half a teaspoon of salt. Quarter teaspoon of salt in each. I just put a half cup of sugar in each. Sugar. Now it's time to cream it all up. Fergie goes crazy when we turn on the mixer, so she likes to see what's happening. This and that Fergie. keeps her calm. Now we're gonna add the rest of our wet ingredients. We've got half a cup of almond milk. One teaspoon of vanilla in each. We 
we need two large eggs. So in order to get an egg in each, half of an avocado is for one egg. So we're gonna do half of an avocado for this cake and a half mashed banana for the other cake. And that will be that egg. So we are starting with the avocado and the banana, which we already opened. So let's make sure that we have all the ingredients. We have flour, baking powder, baking soda, sugar, salt, vanilla, two large eggs, replacers, butter, and our liquid, milk. The powder and the liquid, we're gonna combine that and make the cake. We're using the Pyrex dishes because they can go in the oven. Form the green cake. Ready to go. Gonna try the, the cake batter from the bowl. Wow. I'm impressed by the avocado so far. Now we're doing the banana. Good. Like banana bread. Whoa. I could just eat it like that. Now into the oven they go. Have to make another two cakes while that one's cooking. And we have a second oven too. We can also put Oh it yeah, in. my mom has two ovens. Mm -hmm. So since we just showed you guys how the whole process of making the cake is gonna be exactly the same, so I'm not gonna show that this time. I'll just show once we're adding in the egg replacers. So next up are the applesauce and the tofu. I'm really excited about the tofu. I haven't tried this yet. Yeah, me either. I've never tried a tofu cake. And right now is a good time to put our seeds in. We, ha we they have, have to, to soak. Yeah, we have to soak the seeds. Yeah. So we will be back to these shortly. All right, we have reached the egg replacer time. So now we're adding a quarter cup of applesauce and a quarter cup of silken tofu. Make sure you get silken tofu because it's the softest type of tofu. If you get a harder tofu, then it's not gonna blend up the same. So you need the silky one. Quarter cup. and quarter cup of tofu. I kind of mashed it up to get it in here because it's hard to fit it in to a measuring glass. Let's mix this all up. Oh. What the heck just happened? Well, we're down to one stick. <laughs> so here is our applesauce cake. Looking pretty good. I'm actually impressed by the tofu one. Would not expect that you could use tofu in a cake. The tofu seems to be the closest to a cake I just tasted the tofu and the applesauce batter, and honestly, right now I can't tell a difference. My mom says she can tell a difference, but it tastes the same to me. So we'll have to see how they taste when they come out. We're putting them in the oven right now. In go the next two. Bye. All right, we've got four cakes in the oven. Woo, it's getting hot in here. <laughs> 
We've got two more to go. I think the first two we started. The struggle of living with lots of dogs. So our first two are almost done and then we'll be able to put in our last two and hopefully soon be able to try all these cakes. All right, we're adding in our last two eggs. Got our flax egg, see how it turns like into a jello. And we've got our chia egg. For some reason I feel like the chia one is going to turn out the worst. Freddy, you don't need to be scared. She's trying to protect us from the scary mixer. You're going to protect us. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, Hank, are you going to protect us too? Thank you. Oh, Wolfie, you're coming to protect us too. Thanks guys, thanks for your concern. Okay, our banana and avocado are ready. Do the knife test. Okay, it came out clean. Avocado? Oh, oh, avocado's not ready. <laughs> we'll All take right. out the banana. So banana is done, but avocado needs a little more time. Banana took 45 minutes. Okay, so my mom just made a good point. I was about to write down how long each cake was taking to bake but since we're using all different containers, it's not really accurate. So if they were in the same containers, they would probably cook at the same time, but since our banana one was in a flatter, longer pan, it cooked faster, and our avocado one is in a deeper dish, so it's just gonna take longer. So in general, how long would you say? Um, a normal cake like usually takes, I always check my cakes after about 30 minutes, so. I don't know, it seems to have taken longer, I, about 45, 45 minutes, that's a usual cake. I would say start with 30 minutes and then just do the knife test and if it's still wet on the inside, leave it in for 15 more minutes, check it again, and then just check it every 10 minutes until the knife comes out clean and then you know it's done. Here's our flat cake batter and our chia cake batter. All right, we got our chia and our flax in the oven now. Now we wait. Our flax and chia are done. Now all that's left is the taste test. Got our six cakes ready to go. All of our cakes are ready and we are gonna taste test them now. You excited? Let's get this going. <laughs> I was gonna do a blind taste test, but honestly, I can tell what they all are just by looking at them, so we're just gonna have to go for it, and we'll let you know how each one tastes. Aprons are off. Let's put it on a plate. All six of them? Yeah. Okay. But we don't have frosting on any of these, so obviously you can decorate a cake to make it look more fancy, but we're just doing the straight up vanilla cake recipe without the frosting. Yeah. All right, so on a plate, it looks a little different. This is applesauce, tofu, chia, banana, avocado, and flax. So just based off of the look and the texture, I'm going to say that applesauce and tofu stuck together the most and look most like a cake. Well, I think um, tofu stuck. Yeah, tofu probably tofu, looks tofu the looks best more so like far. A cake. Now let's taste them. First we're trying applesauce. Let's toast. Cheers. It's good. It's it frosty, good. it would be good. Yeah. I need water though, it's dry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's spongy, but it's like, as soon as you eat it, it's pretty dry, I feel like. <clears throat> Up second is the tofu. That's more like cake. That is good. Yeah. The tofu is pretty moist. That is really good. And if you add a chocolate to it, you can make a good chocolate cake out of that. Yeah. And if you frosted it, that, it be really good that tastes like that tastes like regular cake. Okay. 
Chia. Just right off the bat, I am not a huge fan of there being like full on chia seeds in it. I just feel like that's kind of a lot. Well, let's see if we can taste it. Okay. You can. It's crunchy. Yeah, it's crunchy. It doesn't taste bad. No, it's a bread. It tastes like a bread with greens. Mm-hmm. I kind of like it. So but far, still, nothing disappointing. The tofu is the best. Still, yeah. It didn't make me need. It didn't make me need a, a drink. A drink of water. No. Banana. Tastes like banana bread. Yeah, it tastes exactly like banana bread. So, not bad though, but not my favorite actually. I thought banana was gonna be my favorite. Okay, avocado. Turned mostly brown, but it's still kind of green. That's good. Mm. That's a nice flavor. Avocado's really good. It does have slightly an avocado taste, so you have to be like kind of okay with that. But it's definitely not bad. You know what? Actually, I don't like it. I I'm, do not. I'm I, having an aftertaste. An aftertaste just kicked in. and Really? I feel like I taste avocado now. So I tasted cake, and then I tasted avocado as an aftertaste, and I don't like that. I don't taste it. Last one, flax cake. Hmm. So honestly, I think they all had the same consistency. They each just had a slightly different taste. But each one of them tasted very similar, except for yeah. the tofu. They all taste almost exactly the same. I think the tofu. The tofu was more like a cake. Yeah. Look how well it holds up. This just looks more like a cake. It's spongy. The rest of them kind of look like bread, which they're still good. They're still great options. I think honestly, you could use any of these options and really, you could, be you could, well off. you could use any of them, and it would be a great cake. Yeah. Um, my favorite is the tofu. Tofu is my favorite too. Can I have some more? Yeah. Split this. Thanks. Let's rate them from best to worst. Tofu is the winner. Second place, we're gonna say flax. It's actually pretty good. I like that it's like gooey. Mm -hmm. The flax kind of turned in like gooey. Like, I don't know if you can see this, but. Ooh. The flax has a really nice flavor, an excellent flavor. Yeah, I like the doughy taste in it. Third and for place, me, the, se the Let's say it at the same time. The third choice? Yeah. Avocado. Well, we didn't time it. Oh. We're supposed to count it off. For me, third place would be the applesauce. You didn't. You didn't tell me you were gonna say something. <laughs> you already said avocado. Oh. Third place, go. Avocado. Well, we already. I already know what you're <laughs> gonna say. <laughs> Wait. Do I have flax or chia seeds in my tea? <laughs> One. God. <laughs> You can't see it on the camera, don't worry. Okay. Mm -hmm. Avocado was gonna be my least favorite. Number four. Okay, Same let's time. count it off. Ready, set, go. Banana. Chia. Okay, in my ranking, it would go tofu, flax, applesauce, banana, chia, avocado. What would yours be? Mine would be... <clears throat> I'll just right? keep eating cake while you decide. My ranking is number one, tofu, number two, flax, number three, avocado, number four, applesauce, number five, chia, number six, banana. Which is really interesting, isn't it? Yeah. Because we, we thought, thought banana, banana would, would be, be the, the, best. the best. And I thought tofu was going to be super weird. So at least we agree on the tofu and the flax. Yes. But yeah, they all taste like close enough that you could really use whatever of these that you want. And I know that there's like a ton more egg replacers out there that we didn't even get to. Mm -hmm. Like I know people use like sparkling water and like um, pumpkin and there's a bunch of other stuff, so. Yeah, there's a ton. Like I had a hard time picking six. Yeah. So let me know Yogurt. if you like this video, we can do a part two and do some more egg replacer options if my mom will make six more cakes with me. Uh. We'll do it for the fans. 
Well, that is the end of our cake experiment. Thank you so much if you watched all the way to the end. I hope you liked this video and maybe you learned something and let me know in the comments down below what kind of egg replacers you like to use. And if you try any of these, let me know what you think. So that's all for today and don't forget to subscribe down below and like this video if you want to see more. And I will see you next Friday for a new video. Bye! Alright, now we have six cakes. What are we going to do with the rest of this? Uh...